Finally, I have a candle that I can actually enjoy and listen. This is so good. Like, I'm not even kidding with you. It's so good. So here downstairs, I am burning a three wick in espresso bar. It's amazing. It's so good. And what I like most about it is that it's, oh, it's simple. It's spot on. It's to the point. There's no added cinnamon, nutmeg, and all that mess. It's simple. I mean, it is what it is, and that's all that it is. Like, it's so good. So let me go ahead and read the description and then go from there. So this one says, in Italy, you never take your coffee to go. Instead, you stop and savor the aromas of roasted espresso beans and sweet vanilla froth that inspire this fragrance. I couldn't agree more. It's so much better as it's lit as opposed to being off of the cold throw. Now, on cold throw, I felt like the scent was kind of, not really artificial, but I feel like um, something else could have been in its place and hopefully be better. But it just kind of smelled like one of those... Um, you ever go into like Seize Candy? They have like these lollipops. I think they have one in like vanilla, caramel, butterscotch, and I believe chocolate. On cold throw, it smells just like the co the chocolate, the cocket, the chocolate one. So sorry. So that's what I thought. Didn't love it. Didn't hate it. Kind of on the fence. And you know, that was that. Okay, let me get to the burn. So as you can see, flawless perfection. The candle has been burning like a charm for two days straight. It hasn't faltered, it hasn't given me any problems whatsoever, it's just been amazing. These wicks I love. These are the wicks found in the Sweater Weather Candle, the Leaves White Wax Candle. Great wicks, not too fat and plump, not too short and skinny, somewhere in between. Kind of like a, like a straw colored wick. They're great. They were really long, so of course I had to trim them half to, to half of what they were. And in result... I had an excellent burn. And just very quickly, for those of you that, you know, say you have problems, your candle's not burning, do like I do. Go and get yourself one of those, um, well, of course, a wick trimmer, but, you know, I'm cheap, so I grabbed, like, what do you call it? I have, like, a jumbo fingernail clipper. I simply snip it to half of what it is if it's super long, light it up, and let it do its magic. And if it's still tunnels, then, of course, you have a problem. But usually, they're doing, it'll do good, so... That's just my advice to you. So the wicks are just great, and they've actually formed a mushroom top. And of course, that mushroom top's on the tip of the wick. And that always helps to ensure that the flames are just going to get a lot bigger, thicker and wider, as you can see. They dance crazy wickedly um, high, so that's just a good thing. And when they perform like that, chances are you're going to get a great throw and a better burn. It's going to burn smoothly, consistently, and all that great stuff. So that's great. And each time I lit the candle, it took about, let's say, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to pull out. And the scent throw kicked in, like, maybe in two minutes. It was instant. I really, really, really enjoyed the um, throw that came in so quickly. Now the actual throw. It's pleasantly strong. And I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but it's really, really strong. But it's pleasant. It's not going to give you a headache. It's not going to choke you out. It's just a really pleasant scent. And let's talk about the scent. Oh, the scent lingered all the way upstairs, so that's a good thing. Now the actual scent. Um, I was talking with Touch of Fire twice about this, and I agree. I feel like coffee is something that, you know, it's... How can I... It's objective. Like... I go to coffee, get coffee here, it's different from there. I make coffee my way, you make coffee your way. So I really think that um, the brew or however it's made, it's just different. And from what BBW is trying to, um, you know, give, I think they're doing it their way. And it's not really a drink. It's more of the scent you go into like a coffee shop, not even like a Starbucks because they've been kind of, not really for me lately. I think Pete's Coffee, um, when I go in there, I get more of the scent. And for that, um, it does smell like espresso beans. Like if you go to like Safeway, Lucky, you know, stuff like that, you can, you know, I think you can smell like the espresso beans. It smells like that. But it also like gives you like the um, vanilla froth aspect and it's very sweet. Um, it's really frothy. Um, it's just really good and they blend flawlessly. I love the blend. It's like I said, it's simple to the point and it's, it's amazing. So 
I feel like, and then also, it just came to me, it kind of smells like Jamocha ice cream, you know, like the ice cream from like Baskin Robbins, kind of smells like that a little bit, but all in all, overall, I think that this is a nice representation of what like a coffee shop would be. Not particularly the coffee, but the coffee shop. And that's pretty much it, guys. I, I would definitely, now I love it, but I wouldn't buy like 20. I would buy maybe five or 10. So I really recommend trying this one out. If you are an international and you find this on eBay and they're paying an arm and a leg, um, I hate to tell you to grab it, but if it's like, you know, 20, I would, I would grab it. I wouldn't grab it over like 40. It's not, it's good, but it's not like that good to pay that much. But hey, if you want to, I'm not trying to control your spending, I would do it. Um, this is a great scent for when, you, you know, you have friends and family over, um, have a candle burning. I guarantee you they'll say, mm, what's that smell? It smells so good. Are you making, or are you brewing coffee or whatever? I know that they'll say that because it's, it's the great. Highly recommend it. Next two for 20, two for 22. Grab it up. At, for wherever, Easton, Johnson City, Paramus, wherever you are, grab it up. It's great. I can't say enough great things about it. And while I'm here, let me show you the burn action. Just kind of knock the camera over somewhat, but there you go. Wicked, 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 wicked. Mushroom tops, high flames, very happy. And very quickly while I'm here, guys, check it out. Look at that mess. Lakeside Collection. Not happy. I want to wait. I have a three wick coming in Forest Trail. Um, I have the four ounce here and it's, it's good. I like that one. But as a whole, this collection or that collection, not good whatsoever. Oh God. I'm not even going to like, yeah, it's, it's really bad. I, I like maybe three out of 10 cents and that's not like me. So let me look. This is like seven minutes long. I'm so sorry. Let me get out of here. Let you guys go. Thanks again for listening and watching if you managed to pull through and, you know, stick in there with me. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Of course, you have to do that. As always, God bless, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.